Hi friends, my name is Fan. I'm a learner of digital illustration. When I first took drawing seriously, I was quite desperate to find my own art style. But thanks to many amazing artists who have shared their experience and advice on social media, I found my own style. Here is some advice I found really helpful and utilize them in my creative journey. Number one, start with what we got. I started drawing with the cheapest tools available for me: a few pencils, an eraser, and a sketchbook. As a beginner, what's important is drawing something rather than considering which tools we must have to be able to draw. If you really want to draw, don't care much about expensive art supplies or high-tech equipment. You can learn to draw with everything which is affordable for you at the moment. Number two, copy from a variety of artists. I think many of us have done this when we were kids. I myself used to draw my favorite cartoon characters from the age of four until I started my university degree. I don't want to become a copycat of any other artists, but copying did really help me in the process of finding my own art style. The point here is to not copy artworks of only one specific artist, but to copy from many different ones. When drawing was only a hobby for me, I drew quite a few characters from different Japanese comic books, just because I really liked the art style of those artists, and I think. My current drawing style has been influenced by those comic books. When I decided to take art seriously last year, I really didn't know where to start. After about 10 years of drawing nothing, even lifting up the pencil to draw a simple circle is also difficult for me. So I chose to copy as I did countless times when I was a kid. Then my first sketchbook. Is full of copies of many artworks by various artists. Also, I think watching art tutorials to draw along is quite helpful for beginners. Number three, learn basic knowledge. While copying artworks of other people, I can learn to get used to drawing with pencils again, and learn how to draw simple elements like circle, line, curve. But that's not enough. Because apart from pencil drawing, I also want to have color in my illustrations. So I started to learn basic knowledge, including color harmony, light and shadow, and texture effect. This basic knowledge is quite hard for a beginner like me. There are tons of videos explaining this knowledge on social media, so picking up the suitable ones was quite a challenge for me. In order to not overwhelm myself with the basic knowledge, I learn them little by little and choose to practice from the easiest. I believe that I can learn them slowly at the same time as practicing my art skills. Take anatomy as an example. Learning the proper anatomy of people or animals is extremely hard as a beginner. So instead of drawing people and animals by learning bones and muscles, my strategy is to draw by shapes first. And as my art skills become better over time, I can slowly learn anatomy to create better drawings. Number four, draw what you like from reference photos. I think each of us has our favorite topics to draw on. And this is definitely a great motivation for us to keep practicing our art skills. In my case, I really like drawing animals and kids. Maybe it's because I can easily get tired of being an adult. So I love the innocence of kids and pets. Like many other people, I especially like cats and dogs. So I draw them a lot. After copying so much from other artists, I wanted to upgrade a bit. And I started to draw from reference photos. I have downloaded quite a few photos of animals and trained both my eyes and my hands to draw from references. An example is my cat drawings. My first sketch is really simple, but my cat drawings later are much better. After many experiments, my cat drawing style has become quite clear recently. I found drawing from references really beneficial. Because I can not only learn the correct proportion of each drawing subject to others, 
but also learn about light and shadow. Hopefully, after a few years of drawing from reference photos, I'll be able to draw from my imagination easily. Number 5. Make small changes In order to develop my art skills as well as to finalize my style, I make small changes every time I create a new artwork. These changes can be a new color palette, a new texture brush, or a new light effect. For example, in my first digital illustrations, I didn't use outlines, but later on I found outlines more suitable for my style. When drawing people's faces, over the time I have changed the way I draw eyes, from the simplest form with a few lines to my style now. Sometimes my experiment succeeded, but sometimes it failed. But the more important thing is that experimenting is the only way to find what I like to keep in my future drawings and what I don't like to continue doing. As a beginner illustrator, I usually look at artworks of other artists to learn from them, like how they combine colors in the piece of art, where they apply the texture effects in their drawings, and so on. Then I try to apply what I've learned from them into my illustrations, just a little bit each time. Number 6. Practice daily, regardless of good or bad results. Since I started drawing digitally, I have posted all illustrations on Instagram so that my profile there will show my entire process of learning and growing as a digital illustrator. If you look at my profile on Instagram, you can see all the bad drawings that I have made so far. I believe that we can only create good pieces of art after making quite a few bad ones. So I feel more comfortable with sharing all my illustrations, even though in my opinion, many of them are not good enough. Practice makes progress. I understand that there is no shortcut to having a unique style without drawing every day. So I try to draw something daily. If I don't have enough time to finish a digital illustration within a day, I will manage to complete at least a digital sketch and color it the next day. I love drawing, so drawing daily isn't a boring duty for me. No matter how many other tasks I have to do in one day, I still can make time for a messy pencil sketch before going to bed. There are so many things I have to learn to make my art better and smoothly convey my stories through illustrations. However, I think my art style is quite clear at the moment and it truly gives me the motivation to develop more and keep going on my creative journey. Have you found your art style? How did you find it? I'd love to learn from your experience, so please consider leaving comments to share with me and others. Thank you so much for watching.